Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up your charts in Excel to automatically refresh. This can be useful when you add data to your data set and you don't want to have to go through the process of going to the data, data tab and clicking refresh all or right clicking it to, to prompt the refresh. I can show you how you can set this up so it will automatically refresh your data and your chart. So in this example I've got daily sales amounts and I'm going to put these into Power Query and then show you how you can create a chart and schedule those refreshes. So here, I'm gonna to go to the data tab and select from table or range. So as long as I've selected one of my values here, I can hit from table or range and Excel is gonna automatically detect my range. So it contains headers, so I'm gonna leave the, this checked and hit okay. Now it opens up Power Query and the same exact table that I was just looking at now in Power Query format. Now I could load this back right into Excel, but I'm gonna make one step before I do that, and that is the group by option here at the top. If I click on this, I can group my, uh, my table based on weeks. So that way I have fewer data points, and so my, my chart's gonna be less, less cluttered, less busy. So I have the option here to select by week. My column name is gonna be weekly total. Operation is just the summation of the sales amount. Now when I hit OK, it summarized my weekly values and I've got my totals here. So now I'm gonna hit close and load and now it's gonna open up a new sheet that contains that output from Power Query. So I've got my output from Power Query here and this is my original data. So the one thing to keep in mind is when you're using Power Query, when you're making changes, you wanna update your actual data source. So this is the output from Power Query, but this is that, this sheet here is this original data. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a chart based on this Power Query output because this is what I want to summarize. I don't wanna show all those fields uh, on my original tab. I wanna do um, create one based on these weeks. So I'm gonna go to the Insert tab and just select uh, a simple column chart. And so I've got that. I'm just gonna get rid of some of these fields. I'm going to right click, select data, get rid of that week because I just want the weekly totals showing as far as the bar charts, uh, the column charts goes. And just maybe change up some formatting, change the data series so that the gaps are a bit smaller. But other than that, we are There we go. So other than that, we're ready to go. So now we've got our chart set up here. And so now it's just a matter of updating the data. So before I, I do that, what I'm gonna do is go to my sheet and at the very bottom, I'm gonna add an extra entry, All right? So still April 30th and instead of 754, I'm gonna add 10,000, something really large so it'll stand out if the value is different. So right now, we see that it hasn't updated, right? It's still 754, so it's not automatically updating. So to, to make this automatically update, what I'm gonna do is go under the Queries and Connections pane. So if you don't see this, I'm gonna close this out, show you how we can access it. If you go to the Data tab, there's an option here for Queries and Connections. If I click on this, these are all my queries that I've created, and so that's the Power Query uh, one that I've done. And if uh, I right-click on it, and select properties, there's an option here to enable a refresh every set amount of minutes. So you can refresh it when you open the file and also every few minutes. So let's say I set this to one minute. So it'll refresh every minute. Now, the, the one thing to keep in mind um, is anytime you're refreshing a query in Power Query, it's gonna repeat all the steps that you made. So that process of loading the data into Power Query, grouping the weeks, and then loading it back in here, it's gonna repeat those steps each and every time it does the refresh. So if you have a really complicated query that's got you know 50 steps or, 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 or takes a long time to update, you may not wanna set it to every minute just because that could really start to, to slow down your system. So just keep in mind that if you do a refresh, it's gonna refresh all the steps that you have in there. I'm just gonna put it to one just for the sake of showing you um, the update process. So as you can see, it still hasn't updated. 
here, but in about a minute, we'll see that it that it does a refresh and that it's uh, doing those um, doing those steps all over again. So as you can see now, it quickly did that that refresh. So you may have seen it spinning here, and now the value has jumped up, and so we can see 10,754. So we can see that it has updated that value. So it's not an instantaneous update w once you add data. That's not what it is, but we can still schedule it so it goes every minute, every few minutes, whatever the case may be. So as long as you don't need an instantaneous update, this will still work for you because you can set it to update it every few minutes. Because um, like I said, you probably wouldn't want it to update instantaneously in, in, in most cases just because that, that could slow down your system. So um, just be aware of that. That's the main constraint that you want to consider because again, if you've got a really complicated query, then it can take a lot of time to update it and you know that can strain your, your computer's resources by having the refresh run all the time. But to do the refresh, again, our quick recap, um, if we just want to update the data, right click on the query, go to properties, and then you can change your refresh interval, however many minutes you want it to refresh. And that way you can safely know that once data is added, you know, it'll get picked up in the next refresh. You don't have to go in and right click refresh. And that may seem trivial because right clicking refresh is not a big deal. But the thing is, if you're if you're sending a report to somebody and you know they forget to do the update, they may be thinking that they're looking at the latest data, but they, they haven't done a refresh. It's, it's an easy step to overlook. And by automating it, it, it can save you a lot of headaches and, and issues later on if you realize, oh, you just forgot to update the data. So a really easy way to do that just by scheduling those refreshes. You don't have to set them every minute, maybe every every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes, however often you update your data. So it's up to up to your discretion at that point. But that, that's how we can do that so that the, the data is always up to date and having the, the latest information. So if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.